What it do, y'all? This is Osiris uh, with a new another tutorial. <clears throat> I know a lot of y'all been waiting for me to do a, a, another tutorial on how to stream to Twitch. And this time, uh, we're going to do it without a script. We're going to do it with a application named Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, if you don't know where to get that at, I'm going to try to leave that down in the description somewhere or on the video right here. So let's try to make this as quick as possible. I don't want to take up too much of your time or my time. First thing you want to do is obviously get Simple Screen Recorder. And then you want to open Simple Screen Recorder. Which uh, if you're using KDE, it should be under Multimedia. And there it is. All right, so there we go. Simple screen recorder. You're gonna hit continue, and then record the entire screen. Since I have three screens, you'll see three entries here. Well, I actually have two uh, that are turned on, so there's two entries, or you can choose to output all of them. Just let's, cho let's just choose um, screen one at 1920 by 1080, and to stream to Twitch. We don't want it to stream at 10, 1080. So we're going to scale video and do 1280 by 720. Okay. And then you want to record audio and here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So Let's just make it simple for now. If you don't want to stream uh, microphone audio, I'll do that a tutorial on that later on. But just to stream the game audio, we're going to go to uh, monitor your built-in audio analog stereo. Your, your, your entry may be a little bit different, but uh, you're going to look for something like this. Monitor of built-in audio analog stereo. And click that. Okay. Then hit, uh, also, I would put it at 30 frames per second. Uh, you, can, you can experiment with 60 if you've got enough bandwidth and all that. But uh, for this, for the purpose of this tutorial, let's leave it at 30. And everything else should look just like this, what you see on the screen here. Okay, you're going to hit continue. And then, you're going to go to uh, picking a a uh, twitch server so as you can see here we have a list of twitch servers at bashtech.net slash twitch slash ingest.php it's all up here at the top uh, and then you pick the server that's closest to you mine is uh, I'm closest to Dallas Texas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all this from RTMP all the way to the end copy minimize that and then paste it here okay and then now you want to go and find your twitch key and to do that we're going to go to twitch dot tv slash dashboard uh, login obviously and right here you'll see uh, your stream key go ahead click over here to go to your stream key and you have to click show show stream key. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll just reset my stream key. So, take everything from where it says live all the way to the end. Make sure you get everything. It's kind of tricky. Copy it with Control C. Minimize, and then here you're gonna put a. I think this is a four slash. First, make sure you put that forward slash and then control V to paste the rest in. 
Uh, I like to go back and make sure it, it did what it's supposed to. So it should be app forward slash then what you pasted live and et cetera, et cetera. All the, all the string of numbers. That's your Twitch key. Uh, once you got that in there, you want to go to where it says container. Make sure separate file per segment is not checked. Uh, again, is not checked. So then you go to container, go to other, and make sure you're on FLV for flash video. Then you want to check this here to other uh, libx264. And then uh, set your bit rate. Uh, you're gonna, you, you can mess around with this. A, a very good bit rate would be about 2,000 or 3,000. But the bit rate is uh, very dependent on your up your upload uh, bandwidth. So mess around with it and see what uh, after you get it set up to see what, what what's optimal for you. For me, I have a very slow. I have like one megabit of of upload because I have very slow internet. So I set mine to about three quarters of of your upload rate because you're gonna also need a little bit more for the audio stream. So 750 for me, and then you want to. So you want to take this string that I'll put on the screen again, right up here somewhere. And you can pause the video so that you see it. Or I'll put it in the description also so you can just copy and paste it. But you want to take that and paste it in here. Preset equals fast, tune equals zero latency, min, min rate equals 2000, max rate equals 2000, buffer size equals 2000, key int equals 60. All right. Uh, you can change, uh, mess around with this preset also once you once you get it uh, set up. Depending on again, uh, I think it's on your bandwidth, so you can have it at uh, I think fast, very fast, and medium. Those are the, those are the three I would mess around with for. But for now, leave it at fast. And so copy and paste all that info right here, and check allow frame skipping. And set the audio codec to AAC with a bit rate of 128. Okay. Now we can go to the next screen, screen by hitting continue. And let's go to Twitch. Now that we got everything set up, it should work by just hitting um, start record, start recording. And you do that, and you should see it go live. There it goes. So it's live now. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Let me go ahead and stop streaming so nobody thinks I'm actually streaming. Uh, yeah, so that's all there is to it. Um, to get, to get, um, your cam on here, I used GovC View. Uh, let's see. It's right here. And it looks something like this. And it, uh, yours more than likely will have a border around the window. Uh, since I'm using KDE, I have the option to hide the border. I think some other desktops may have that option also. But uh, that's how you can get your cam. Because a simple screen recorder will just record everything that's on your desktop. So once you launch the game, the full screen the game, uh, it will stream that. And to get your cam on cam on top of it, what you need to do is make sure it keep above others. Uh, option is checked under KDE. And if you don't want a Windows border, you need to hide the Windows border also. Uh, but that's outside the scope of this tutorial. And if enough people want it, I guess I'll do a tutorial also on how to get your game sound and your microphone working because that's a little bit more trickier. But uh, hopefully this helps some of y'all. This is much easier than using the script. Uh, you should get a lot less errors that you were getting before. Make sure that uh, your system is up to date before trying this. And your libav files are all up to date. And it, sh it should be pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Peace.